Hello guys, in this video we will tell you how to fix network discovery is turned off error in Windows 10 or 11. Before we start the video guys, if you have any computer or software related problems, please feel free to contact us by visiting our website and using the submit a problem button and comment down below on our videos about your problem and don't worry, we will make a video for you to resolve it. Number 1. Restart your computer. For this, save your any ongoing work. Click on the start button. From there, select the power icon and choose restart. And number 2. Try enabling network discovery via control panel. For this, press the Windows plus S key to open the search bar. Type control panel and press enter to open it. In the control panel, go to the network and sharing center. From there, click on change advanced sharing settings on the left hand side. Under the network discovery section, do the toggle on for the network discovery option. After that, click save changes to apply the settings. Restart your computer to ensure the changes take effect. Number 3. Try changing sharing mode. For this, open settings and click on the network and internet tab in the left panel. From there, select Wi-Fi and click on properties under the network your device is connected to. And under the network profile, select private. Number 4. Check your network services. For this, press Windows plus R to open a run dialog box. From there, type services.msc and press enter to open the services window. In the services window, scroll down to find the following services. Services like DNS client, right click on it and select properties. In the properties window, under startup type, ensure that it's set to automatic. And more services like Function Discovery Provider Host and Function Discovery Resource Publication, SSDP Discovery and UPnP Device Host. Do the following steps on all of these services. And if any of these services are not running, click the Start button to start them. After that, click OK to save changes and close the services window. After that, just simply restart your computer and check if this works or not. Number 5. Disable firewall or antivirus interference. Firewalls and antivirus software can sometimes block network discovery causing the error. To determine if this is the issue, try temporarily disabling your firewall or antivirus and check if the network discovery's turned off error persists. Number 6. Try resetting your network settings. For this, open settings and click on the network and internet tab in the left panel. Scroll down and click on Advanced Network Settings to view all network devices and the Network Reset option. From there, click the Reset Now button and after that, click Yes to confirm the action. Once the reset is complete, you should have the Wi-Fi connection restored. Number 7. Run Network Troubleshooter. To get started, head to the Start Menu search bar and type in Settings to open Windows Settings. On the Settings app, click on System and then troubleshoot and then other troubleshoots. After that, click the run button for network and internet connections. Window will launch a troubleshooter and show the issues for which windows can troubleshoot. After that, apply the fixes and check for any improvements. Number 8. Plus DNS cat. For this, go to search bar and search for command prompt. Right click on it and select run as administrator. After that, try the following commands to reset the IP and clear the DNS cache. Don't worry, we'll attach all the commands in the description box. Number 9. Configure the Windows Firewall. Press the Windows plus S key to open search bar. Type Control Panel and press Enter to open it. After that, set the view by mode to small icons and click on Windows Defender Firewall. After that, select Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall from the list on the left. After that, under Allow app and feature, scroll down to the Network Discovery and click the checkbox to its left. Then select the checkboxes next to Private and Public also, located just to the right. And when finished, just simply click OK. Number 10. Scan for viruses and malware. For this, Type Windows Security in the Windows search bar and select Windows Security from the results. In the Windows Security window, click on Virus and Threat Protection. 
on the current threads, click on quick scan to perform a basic scan. But for a more comprehensive scan, you can choose full scan. After that, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the scan. If any threads are detected, Window Defender will provide option to remove or will quarantine them. So this was it for the video guys. We hope this video helped you solve your problem. If it did, then make sure that you give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if it did not, then don't worry. Just comment down below the issue and we'll try to figure out what is wrong with your specific case. Thank you for watching.